Hello and welcome back to a very special Retro Respawn Plays. I thought I would take a break from slogging it through flashback the quest for identity. Don't worry, I will finish that off one day. Uh, just to do a little play of a game which I used to play when I was a youngster. This was on my relatively modest uh, Master System library. But interestingly enough, uh, the reason why I have uh, chosen this one today is having a flick through old issues of Sega Power magazine. There were more than a fair share of games that got absolutely scathing reviews and were decried as the worst games. And this is uh, one of those games. Uh, I do believe they said it was about as bad as a case of holiday herpes. Yes. Um, well, <laughs> that's Sega Power for you, um, to be honest with you. They were kind of rude, crass, and uh, <laughs> looking at some of the art pages uh, now in current year, it's um, understandable to see uh, stuff that might be a bit controversial, such as Nazi Sonics and uh, Shinobi slicing uh, Mario down the middle uh, with his sword. Um, I say Shinobi, obviously not Shinobi, but that's what they called him in the picture. Never mind. Point being, uh, Sega Power, looking back, I have a lot of back issues. Looking back, it's a bit of a shitty trash magazine, actually. Uh, it was being super edgy <laughs> at the time. Anyway, uh, yeah, they kind of slated a lot of games, so I thought, well, why don't I have a look at these games and decide uh, for myself uh, whether they were um, actually shit or not. Uh, and I was starting with Super Tennis, which I had. I uh, picked it up for, I don't know, tenner at Woolworths back in the day. Well, I didn't. <laughs> me, mum and dad did, because they had the money. Uh, not me. And uh, to be honest with you, I disagreed with the review back then. Okay, um, so we'll just have a little play and see what you think of it as well. Um, it's a little chat about the game. Uh, it's, really not as, it's really not as shit as they say. It's got some problems, but we'll talk about those in a minute. Okay, time to play Sega 1986. The more eagle-eyed of you might notice, by the way, that this game has more than a little bit of a resemblance to Tennis for the NES. And I think you may well be right. Uh, the court looks the same. The audience looks pretty much the same. Colours are different, but that's because of the different the different colour palettes of the NES and the Master System. And the umpire, uh, in addition to being Mario on the NES game, Yes, I think he was. Uh, I think he, I think he was also on the right hand side of the screen. Anyway, you will notice that um, it's kind of a reskinned version of, of tennis. I don't know which one came first. I, I presume they probably came around about the same time as I, as each other. To be honest with you. Right. So it's my serve, and I here I am down the bottom. Hi there. Throwing the ball up into the air. Uh, it's an early Master System two game, and I go to serve and. It's an early Master System 2 game, and I think you might agree it has that kind of um, Sega SG-1000 kind of appearance to it. Um, I have not actually checked to see if it was actually on the SG-1000 library, and that's a point to me. Well done. Nice one. Thank you very much. So I cranked up the player's speed a little bit, because with speed at A, I can tell you now that your player will crawl uh, at a really slow pace across the screen, and you can miss the ball when chasing it. So I cranked it up a little bit. Otherwise we're playing it relatively easy. So it is as bad as all that. Well, okay, so let's have a look from the basic principles. Let's have a look at the graphics. Like I said, it looks kind of SG-1000-y, kind of simple, kind of blocky. Colors are nice. Uh, player animations, it's not bad, is it? You know, you can kind of. Oh dear. Okay. Player animation is all right. It's not bad for an early, very early Master System title. The um. The hand, the player handling's not too bad either. There is just a little bit of an issue uh, here with the. Uh, the computer, as it were, the CPU, the Master System itself decides as the ball is being returned to you, which side uh, of the ball your player is facing, for instance. And you kind of have to, if it's wrong, you kind of have to force it to, oh, I got that wrong, oh dear. And occasionally, um, 
as you move across the court while the ball is in play, he starts flipping back and forth wildly. Sometimes you end up facing the wrong way. You'll, you'll see what I mean in a, in a second. It'll happen soon, I can imagine. Positioning that player for that forehand swing. So the regular, the, the button one just gives you a, the regular, that's a net, that's a net hit, and that's all, that almost always happens there actually. Regular swing, you serve with button one and you just regular forehand. Um, well, actually it's backhand or forehand, it depends, again, depends which way your player is facing. That's a forehand, and then he turns for backhand. It, was, it, it does get a bit annoying because it can put the player's body in the way of the ball before the racket and body contact is a point to the other player. Wow, that was a bold smash there, mate, wasn't it? But ultimately it was futile and it is Deuce, my least favorite point, actually. You just hold the serve button down to serve. Right. And you can do this thing called a lob, that nice high arc in the air. Yeah, and pretty much every time you do a lob, the pl the computer player... Oh, mate! <laughs> I missed! The computer player will lob back as well. Pretty much all the time. You kind of sort of have to trust the computer's judgment when it comes to positioning your player in accordance with the trajectory trajectory of the ball. There we go. Right. And there we go. Back to the juice again. Oh, flipping heck. The... I don't think the physics is particularly great. And I think nine times out of ten, actually, it more is based on a kind of a random chance. When you swing your ball, uh, your racket at the ball, and the ball leaves the racket, I think it's more left up to like a, a probability... Uh, scale as, as to whether it has success or it doesn't and the number of times you can do the exact same swing from the exact same place and it goes somewhere else or it faults or it hits the net so sometimes it can feel a little unfair because you feel like well I did everything right there like that like that net hit there uh, you can feel like perhaps you've been robbed there so we're back to advantage computer Oh, I just sniffed over the net and we're back to juice. Here we go again. Back and forth. Juice. Oh. And that's the thing I was going to get at as well, is that the, the ball doesn't always appear to be uh, in the at the elevation or the uh, court position that you think it might be. And so you end up missing it, really embarrassingly, like a knob. All right, advantage me. Come on, <laughs> let's get a point. <laughs> Even now in my advanced years, uh, where I have apparently gotten better at playing video games of some some kind, um, even now, it, getting a point is rare. <laughs> against the computer on Super Tennis. But there we go. Hooray. That's one point to me. Woo. He's got the serve now. And I can guarantee you he'll kick my ass in this. Right. You can remain where you are in the court and just... Oh, wow. He smashed me. You can remain in the court where you are and just sort of happily return the balls, but that is not going to get you into an advantageous position to actually get the point. You have to start driving your way up the court. Hey, that was out, that. Oh, sh That was out. How did he miss that? How, how did the referee, how did the umpire miss that? Oh, well, don't question it. See that? He's going absolutely nuts because the computer is flitting between... Oops. It was flitting between the two different outcomes 
there as to which way the computer needed to put the player. It happens sometimes. It gets really frustrating because you, you're trying to position your player and it's doing that. And the next thing you know, you either miss it or it's... Um... Wow, he's not pulling any punches today, this guy. And I haven't got a point in at all here. That's a fault. Ha uh ha. -huh. Oops. Right. Get up the court. Get up the court. Got to get it past him, you see. I like that. There you go. I've, I've scraped it back. So what other tennis games were there for the Master System? Because I tell you what, this is literally the only one I ever played on the Master System. And I'm aware of others. Ooh, just got it over the net. And that's a point to me. Yes. I'm aware of others. I think Wimbledon was one of them. And I think uh, Andre Agassi's, and Andre Agassi's Tennis. Oh, dear. Oh, that's in again. Flipping heck. Hey. Well, Fortune is smiling on me now. Here we go, Deuce. The perpetual back and forth that is Deuce. Oh no, he missed. <laughs> oh dear. Well, okay. Well, that's out. So back to Deuce again. Thank you very much, dude. Um, yeah, I don't think I've ever played any other um, uh, tennis titles on the Master System. Maybe I should. Just to see if how it stacks up to Super Tennis. Oh, 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 oh mate. That's a fault. I think the majority of the time when you play Super Tennis, a game actually literally lasts as long as a as a. Oops. As an actual match of tennis. Like a real life one. <laughs> okay, so... Um, we discussed the game mechanics. Um, we discussed the difficulty somewhat in that. It can be changed. You change the computer uh, player's level. I'm playing him at level one here. And you can see he's already offering me a little bit of a challenge. Um, I don't think I've ever played as five. I think actually... Um, oh dear. I think actually increasing the, the player, the computer player level actually just increases his speed on the court and he becomes a bit of a speed demon and runs rings around you, I think. I'm not entirely sure. I didn't really play with the options too much when I used to play this. Obviously, if there's uh, a setting that allows you to play it at, you know, the easiest way, you're going to keep it that, aren't you? Particularly when you're a kid. Oh, it's juice again. Oh, oh it's not juice again. Sorry, it's, it's advantage me. Sorry. Um, but what you see is what you get on this game. Uh, there's no, there's no uh, sand. There's no, there's no clay courts, no sand courts, no uh, whatever. It's just this grass court. Well, imagine it's a grass court. Looks a bit like Wimbledon, really. Um, no. Oh gee, out again. No uh, player variety. You don't get to choose a different look for your player or out like that. And uh, it's dead sexist because uh, the only players in this game are, uh, are men. There's no ladies in this game. Sorry. But I dare say that is not the reason why Sega Power marked it down. Um, so I was having a look through some old back issues of Sega Power. I know it was some very, uh, well, hmm, dodgy, <laughs> uh, dodgy stuff in the art section. Uh, might be a subject for another video. Uh, for another day, actually, the sordid history of the Sega Power magazine. <laughs> uh, all I can say is, a Nazi Sonic got past their team um, and ended up in the pages. I don't know, did they just not take right wing imagery so seriously? Yeah. They even captioned it as looking really great as well, which I found a bit. I mean, even when I was a kid, I thought, really? But. Today, uh, I'm like, really? I shared it on Twitter the other day as well, and I said, look what I found. I found a right-wing Sonic, a Nazi Sonic, blowing uh, Mario's face off with a great big rifle. Now, that was kind of like the... That was, that was kind of the running theme in the art pages on, on Sega Power. Kids would send in pictures of Mario getting killed, uh, usually really gorily. Gorily? Is that a word? 
um, and often by Sonic, but at one point by, um, uh, they called him Shinobi in the art. Um, but uh, is it Joe? Joe Musashi? God. Uh, jumps out from a tree and slices him down the centre or slices his front of his body off or something like that. Anyway, Mario usually dies really grossly and horribly in, in the art pages and, and they're like, yeah, it's wicked. And I don't know whether it was sort of like because of the Sega v Nintendo rivalry or just because Sega Power were that, were that edgy. I don't know, but... Oh, they were certainly edgy by calling games herpes. That's, yeah... Oh, I mean, this is it, really. This is this is what you get: a bit of tennis against the computer. You know, it's 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 simple, it's honest, kind of. As in, it's it's a game. Uh, it's a it's a tennis game. You want it's it's one of these. You want to play some tennis? Well, here's some tennis. Go nuts. Um, did we really care about customizable characters? Did we really care about? Um, can we change the court? How do we, you know? How do we change the way it looks a little bit or anything like that? And um, it is what it is. It's just a bit of tennis. It's just a bit of tennis. Often, uh, often frustrating. If I'm honest with you, it can feel a little unfair. Is all I say. Um, but I don't think it's shite. I don't think it's shite at all. Um, in fact. It's fairly serviceable so you can play two player but the perspective of the game remains like this um, and uh, you only play doubles oops I think I screwed that up you only play doubles um, so it, it's cooperative which is which is great and all but there ain't no competitive aspect so you can't play against you mate or your wife you have to play together Come on, let's just try and win this. Uh, let's just try and win this game, shall we? Now that's the net. Yeah. You can tell in the end. <laughs> you can tell when, once you've hit it, you're like, oh, I know where that's going. Oh, that was spectacular. That really deserve point. Right, well. I think that's pretty much all I need to say about Super Tennis. Uh, it's not shite. It's not herpes. <laughs> uh, it was among... I mean, I wouldn't say it's one of my favourite games growing up, but it's certainly one of the games that I played growing up, and as a result, I kind of have a bit of an affinity for it. Um, it is almost exactly like uh, tennis on the Nintendo Entertainment System. So if you have it on the Nintendo Entertainment System, you probably have already played this. However, if you do have the means to play it, I suggest, I recommend giving it a try and if you like it or you hate it, either way, let me know um, in the comments below if you have played it already and you think it is herpes <laughs> or you don't think it's herpes <laughs> or you think it's just a mild itch, um, please, let, again, let me know. If you enjoyed this video, please click the thumbs up button. It really lets me know uh, what videos are good, what videos are not good. And I will see you next time on Retro Respawn. Thank you very much for watching.